Have you ever wondered how life begins? How do two tiny cells, one from a male and one from a female, come together to create a whole new human being? Well, today, we're breaking it all down in the simplest way possible, so get ready for an amazing journey into the world of human reproduction. First things first, let's talk about gametes. Gametes are sex cells that carry genetic material. Males produce sperm cells, females produce egg cells. When these two meet, they create a unique combination of DNA, making every human genetically unique. Now let's meet the tiny but mighty sperm cell. Sperm are produced in the testes, which are located inside the scrotum. The testes also produce testosterone, the hormone responsible for male reproductive functions. Head contains the nucleus where the 23 chromosomes, half of a human's DNA, are stored. Acrosome, a special cap at the tip that carries enzymes to help break into the egg. Body, packed with mitochondria, which provide energy for movement. Tail, helps the sperm swim towards the egg. Fun fact, a single ejaculation releases millions of sperm, but only one gets to fertilize the egg. Now, let's meet the egg cell, the star of the show. The female body has two ovaries where all egg cells are stored from birth. Each month, one egg is released during ovulation. Nucleus holds 23 chromosomes, zona pellucida, a protective layer that allows only one sperm to enter. Follicle cells surround the egg and support its development. All right, now let's follow the sperm on its incredible journey from ejaculation to fertilization. During intercourse, sperm travel through the sperm ducts, mix with fluids from glands, and exit through the urethra. This creates semen, which is ejaculated into the vagina. The sperm swim through the cervix and into the uterus. Many won't survive the journey due to the body's natural defenses. The surviving sperm reach the oviduct where the egg is waiting. The sperm use their acrosomes to break through the zona pellucida. Only one lucky sperm makes it inside. And now, the magic happens. The sperm's nucleus fuses with the egg's nucleus, creating a zygote. This zygote has a full set of 46 chromosomes, half from each parent. Now that fertilization has happened, what's next? The zygote rapidly divides into many cells. The tiny ball of cells travels to the uterus and implants in the lining. The embryo grows into a fetus, developing organs and limbs. Nine months later, a baby is born. And that's how life begins. From one sperm, one egg, and a lot of science. If you found this fascinating, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome science content. See you next time.